This is Michael Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we use some uh, image processing function to change the color of the picture. Now, uh, sometimes say uh, when you use a photo editor, you will see some specific uh, image processing function. Like for example, like, uh, if you see a flower, you will see the red flowers. Uh, color but you will see the rest rest color the rest of the picture would be something like a grayscale something like that now um, that is like when you use the photo editor now like you may not think about like how can you do it but actually we can do it in MATLAB easily now so a couple things that we are going to talk about is like how can we do the grayscale, what is grayscale, and then how can we use those parameters. Uh, and also uh, what is RGB and how can we use those parameters. Okay, first of all, uh, we are going to read a um, picture. Let's see. Um, we are going to set PIC equal to read I am read onion dot png now um, the reason that onion dot png is because uh, it is like one of the built-in picture that we can use it so let me just show the picture at this point should I close all the figures so it will pop up now this picture uh, you see that is a quite colorful big pictures my target is to only keep the red color in here and change all the remaining color to be grayscale okay so how can we do this now um, we know about RGB which is like represent the red green and blue uh, of each picture element. Now this picture have um, uh, many rows and many columns. So for each row and columns, we are going to do a comparison and then compare to a certain value. Uh, compare the RGB to, be, uh, to, to some certain value. If it is fall within some region, then we are going to change it to grayscale. Okay, now, so how are we going to do this? First, we're going to close that now. So we say for mm, we can call anything one to size pick one. So it is like talking about um, we select each row and then let every column one by one so mm and nn is like row and column now the key point would be the list statement what are we going to do we are going to We are going to change the grayscale. We are going to change it to grayscale if there are some condition if match. Okay, so we will say if picture mm and then one. This is what it is is if the picture element of that specific location, that pixel. The red element is less than 80. Now, first of all, this number doesn't have to be 80. It can be from uh, 0 to 256. 0 to 255. I'm sorry. 0 to 255. Any number between that. But this one is like you control if the if the red color is less than the bias of 80 then you are going to do something now but 
we are going to do more than that. We are going to do if the red car is less than 80 or the green car is uh let's see what should I take? Bigger than 80 or uh, this is the second element, okay? The third element is not larger, not larger than a hundred, okay? So yes, we are going to see if the picture of that pixel, if the picture, I'm sorry, if the pixel of that picture is a like, fall within any one of this category, if it is going to happen, I'm going to calculate the grayscale of that element. Now, because the like, grayscale, it is like the same value for R, G, and B. So we are going to just like, we only need one number and then put it back to R, G, B for that specific element. But how can we calculate the grayscale? Here is a formula. This formula is used in the grayscale function in MATLAB and is 20% of the red color plus 59% of the green color plus 11% of the blue color okay so what are we going to do next we are going to put this back to that pixel Okay, so in here, if that pixel is fulfill any one of these three conditions, and then it will change that pixel value to grayscale. Okay, this is 0 0.3, 0 0.59, and 0 0.11 is, uh, is well, we are using this number as same as the MATLAB uh, color to grayscale function. And, and, and okay so we finished the function now let's see close all and then we are go going to do the so the image again now oh. so you see the picture is here now what you see is that uh, you see this pepper is keeping at red color red color red color and then like uh, this green pepper become a grayscale onion the right will change to grayscale and everything left in here change to grayscale and that's just how you change the process how, how do you change the image color by using a very very simple MATLAB function how many lines in in this function there will be just actually it's like one two three four five six seven eight eight line of function okay so the real real statement is only two and then the rest is a uh, just for loop and then uh is a conditional statement in here it's very simple